Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another PS5 video. So got a quick one here for you guys as Lightning Mods has released a new public beta test of ETA Hen version 2.0b, mainly to test the new cheat system that has been added in this version. So he says here in this post on X that public testing for ETA Hen 2.0b in the Package Zone Discord has started. Be among the first to test ETA Hen's new cheat system and toolbox improvements will no longer freeze early with support for all the popular cheat formats, including MC4, JSON, and SHN cheat formats. So he's got an invite to the Discord link there, and I'll go ahead and show you how to set this up here in this video. So I believe this is running for about a week, and then obviously we'll have to wait for the full release before we get proper access to this. But if you want to access this early and test out the new cheats, then you can definitely give this a try. So this is essentially the gold hen cheats that we've had access to on the PS4 for a very long time uh, so that we can easily apply our cheats for our PS4 games. And it's now being ported to the PS5 with this new version of ETA Hen. So you can essentially enable those same cheats on your PS5 as well. Also, PS5 game cheats have also been added, not just PS4. Although, of course, there's a lot of PS4 game cheats. There aren't that many available for PS5 yet. Just a handful of games at this time. And it's not just cheats that are being tested in this new version. There's also been improvements to the stability of the ETA Hen toolbox, which has been known to crash on certain firmwares and people running into issues with it. So this new version is also trying to improve the stability there as well. And then also, of course, this is, again, a beta test. So this is primarily for testing purposes. If you are going to be running this just to have fun, I would recommend, obviously, contributing in the Discord server if you run into any problems so that things can get fixed for the final release. Now, another bonus with this is that this should work across all firmwares that support ETA Hen, which is pretty much 1.x all the way up to, you know, 5.50. Even the 5.x firmwares can run this, although they won't have access to PS4 fake packages or being able to run uh, PS5 game dumps. But if you have any retail PS5 or PS4 games on those firmwares, you'll be able to enable the cheats on those games. So it works on the 5.x firmwares as well, which is great. I'll leave a link to Lightning Mods post in the description. So if you go over there, access the Discord link to join the server and head over to the ETA Hen public test. In there, if you go up to the top or just access the pinned messages here, you will find Lightning Mod's initial post, which includes a link to the Gold 10 Cheats repo for downloading all the cheats. And then you've got the payload itself that you can download from a Google Drive link. And of course, you're also going to need to download the Gold 10 Cheats repository. You can head to the code here and just download it as a zip file. So once we have all of that, what we're going to do is head on over to our PS5. Once you're on your PS5, you just want to head onto your exploit host via the browser. From there, you're going to run the jailbreak. Once the jailbreak loads up successfully, you can go ahead and inject the payload using a payload injector on your computer that's connected to the same network as your PS5. So I'm just using Netcat GUI for this. So all I'm going to do is enter my PS5's IP address in the host box, then enter the port number as 9021, unless you're using the 3.00 to 4.51 jailbreak, in which case it will be 9020. Then drag and drop the ETA Hen payload into the program and simply inject the payload to send it to the PS5. And then if we switch back over to the PS5 here, you can see it is executing and loading ETA Hen. So if you are on a 1.00 to 2.70 firmware, obviously it's a little bit different. So in that scenario, when you inject the payload, it will actually put the console into rest mode and then you have to recover from rest mode. And when you recover from rest mode, you can just send the payload a second time and that will go ahead and use the persistent elf loader that's running in the background to run ETA Hen and get it up and running on those firmwares too. Okay, so once you have ETA Hen loaded, that will also run the FTP server. So we can then open up an FTP client on our computer, enter the PS5's IP address in the host box, and of course the port number is 1337 for FTP with ETA Hen. So we'll connect up to the PS5 file system through FTP, then we just head into the data folder and then the ETA Hen folder on the hard drive, and we're gonna create a new directory in here called Cheats. So create a new cheats directory, go into that directory, and then take your extracted gold hen cheats repository, open that up and copy all of the files from the cheat repository into that cheats folder. Now this will not be required in the full release because there'll presumably be some kind of option in the ETA hen toolbox in the full release that will allow you to automatically download the latest cheat files, just like we have that option in gold hen. But obviously this is a public beta right now, so you just have to copy all of the cheats over manually. So once we have them all installed, we should be good to go. So all we have to do now is run a game that has a cheat available. So one of the only games I have on here that does have cheats available for it right now is Resident Evil Village. 
So once we have the game loaded up, we can just head back to the home screen. And then from there, we just head into our settings. And from settings, we go down to debug settings, which takes us to the ETA Hen toolbox. And you can see we now have this new option for cheats work in progress. So we're going to select that option. And there we go. All of the Resident Evil cheats here show up. So all the cheats for your game, presuming there is a cheat file available for it, will show up here. Depends on what game you're running and what game version it's running on. So I'm just going to go ahead and enable a few cheats like we'll do uh, God Mode or Infinite Health, of course. We'll do Infinite Ammo. We'll also do a uh, One Hit Kill. So we'll enable a few of those cheats there. We can see we've got a Master Code cheat there as well. So all of that stuff should be working according to Lightning Mods. Master Codes and Code Caves should also be working here. So you just enable the cheats that you want and then you switch back onto your game and those cheats should now be enabled. So we'll go ahead and test infinite health to see if that is working so as you can see if i take damage here i'm not actually losing any health when i take damage so on my suitcase i've got the little green bar in the top left hand corner that should go yellow and then eventually red when you're at critical health but as you can see no matter how many times i get attacked here i'm not losing any health so infinite health is indeed working and then of course we've also got unlimited ammo and one hit kill so we can test one hit kill just by firing one shot at each enemy and that will actually kill them, whereas normally it takes quite a few bullets to take those guys down. And as you can see, infinite ammo is working there as well. And of course, I can turn that all off just by heading back to the cheats again and disabling those options if I want to put it back to normal. So yeah, that's the Gold 10 cheats being implemented here into ETA Hen, with also PS5 cheats will be added fairly soon with this beta, which will run for the next around about six days at the time of uploading this video, five to six days, you'll be able to access this. And then, of course, it will be shut down and we'll get a full release sometime, hopefully shortly afterwards, uh, where you'll be able to access the completed version with all of the cheats, as well as the ability to download the cheats from ETA Hen itself, so you don't have to manually copy the cheats over with FTP, like we have to do with the public beta right now. And just to reiterate, of course, this is just for testing. So if you are just running this to have fun, I would recommend if you run into any bugs to report it in the Discord so that they can be fixed for the final release because that is the whole point of this is to get people running this to identify problems so that they can be fixed because a lot of these issues, uh, are, a Lightning Mods is not going to be able to find every single issue on his own or just with a few testers. We need a lot of people here to be able to identify issues. So yeah, anyway, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoyed this video or found the information useful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. And once again, I'll hopefully see you guys in the next video.